Hey, welcome back everybody. Shino, we got a wolf in our base. And a bad guy. What a morning. And he's running towards us. Uh, so welcome back. This is episode uh, 44 of our Let's Play series. Yeah, do I have my bow? I do. Let's see. Too far. There he goes. Hey, hey. Ah, that was a fun surprise. Pick up my arrows. So, what are we going to do this episode? This episode's going to be about getting some armor together. And if we've got wolves in our base, it's none too early or none too soon, right? What's going on here? There it goes. No fat. Oh well. We'll take the leather. Alright, last episode, what did we do? We worked uh, mainly just buttoning stuff up. As you can see, winter is upon us. It is uh, negative 6 degrees. It's November 9th. And, uh, you know, we're... We're at that point now where it's uh, we're probably not going to be working on a lot more outdoor projects. Uh, time to move ourselves indoors. So that's what we're going to be working on this episode. And what's happened here? That's interesting. Hmm. I had said I was going to change these out and uh, chisel, and I have not done that yet. But if you look, that's weird. That's weird. Yes, I did it. Yep, yes, I did it too. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's go down here and check on this. I fired it back up, but uh, don't think it is. Yeah, 59%. So let's keep this going. see go there we go all right um you know that's that's primarily that what you do is you go through each day kind of fire it off again all right i'm going to get some stuff put away gather some resources up let's go ahead and just check one more time yeah Definitely going to have to do a lot of work here. Okay, I'll be back. Remember we talking about uh, when snow piles up, um, it can negate fence, fencing. Uh, that's why I like to go too high. And you can see we've got a bunch of chickens that got out. Uh, snow's starting to get a little deep. Uh, and so what that does is it, it kind of changes the hitbox uh, and gives them the ability when they start cramming up against each other in a corner to be able to pop over. So I came running by and a whole bunch of chickens came spilling out over the top. So, yep, just uh, remember that uh, I should have should done that sooner, but too high fencing. And I'll have to come back in and put some gates in there so I can get access to, to feed them again. But, uh, yep, just uh, keep that in mind. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we're back. Um, what I'm going to do now, we're going to work on our first armor piece. So if we go in here to armor, and we're going to look at the heavy, heavy armor. Now, the I think the heaviest you can get, of course, would be the steel plate armor. Um, gold steel. Yeah, so we'll just look at the... Um, Let's just look at the body armor piece for right now. So you can see to make this, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steel plates. Uh, but you're also going to need the steel uh, body armor, the chain armor. Uh, so you're looking at plates for each one of those two. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more plates there that you're going to have to make. So this does require a lot of plates, and we can't. There's no way we can do this all at once, but what we're going to do, I think, in this episode is we're going to start with the iron. And I was tempted. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the meteoric iron, which I think is really cool looking. Um, if I want to go with that one first or if I just want to go ahead and go with just the regular um, 
the regular iron armor. Um, and I, I've mentioned this before, we're going to end up making a lot of different iron pieces, or I'm sorry, armor pieces, um, as we go through this. I want to get several sets of armor together. So this is going to be, you know, not something we're going to get done all in one episode. Um, this is going to be something that's going to take us a little bit of time to kind of get through. Um, because we're going to have to keep going out and gathering up resources. But, you know, it's winter time. <laughs> we're not going to have a lot of other stuff that we're going to be able to do, uh, except for, you know, just do a little bit of, of stuff indoors. So, uh, anyways, let me keep working on, uh, I want to get this iron all done and uh, get some plates made. Um, I went ahead and gathered up the plates that I had, so I got nine. And then we'll be back. All right, talk to you soon. All right, we've been losing our wind here a little bit. So um, I had mentioned you can uh, help this along while it's on there. And so uh, using the, uh, uh, where you basically, what's that called? What's that mode called? Uh, uh, split um, and hitting the uh, slag, you can knock off multiple pieces at once. And then just like what you see, the green's where it's filling in, black's what it's taking. Uh, so you can come in here and you can also knock off on these black ones. And uh, it'll just kind of help it along there. Now you do use durability on your hammer doing this. Um, but yeah, we're right in the middle and we've lo we're starting to lose our wind. So uh, just keep it going. That's what we're going to do for now. Lots of fun. Here it is. All right, I'm going to keep working. Be back. All right, so this is going to take us a while. So um, I went ahead and grabbed one of the armor stands. And if we look at uh, the armor pieces that we're going to be making, uh, all of the pieces will require... I should have just brought that leather jerkin over because I had all that already, but that's okay. Um... Yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to work on just the regular armor, uh, iron armor pieces right now. Um, and to do that, we're eventually going to get to, I think, plate. We're going to go ahead and do the plate armor. And so if you go and look, uh, we're going to need to make the chain leg armor, uh, which is going to require the leather jerkin. So that's what we're going to make with this. I went ahead and gathered up all that we had. So we can make a full set. Now it sounds like we got wind again. Grab another one, get it ready. Almost. And let's see, back into here. And I guess it doesn't really matter which one we'd look at for right now. One of those. And the helmet piece, of course. All right. So that's the first part of what we're going to need. And then I'm going to start heating up some uh, some of the plates that we've already got, and we'll start making. And we'll make a couple pieces of chain, and then uh, I'll be back. All right. So just real quick, I did. Uh, Pull the herd a little bit more so you'll see i uh, got a lot of them taken care of <clears throat> and i believe i left three gen 2 boars in there um which should be good and then there's uh, about uh six six sows per boar so should be about 18 to 20 uh sows in there and the three boars um and then I went through and fed all the animals. And during that time, I got one, two that are pregnant. 
So that's a good thing. Um, and let's uh, we'll go over and take a look at all the meat that we gathered up. That was that was quite a bit of uh, that was uh, quite a murder scene when we got done. Um, but I have a lot of leather again um, that I need to process. So that's going to be a between episode thing. I've got some that's already in here and i got to make up some more. So um, yeah, so let's go take a look at the meat that we got. And I'm not going to cook this all right now. Um, I'll come back in here in a little bit. But there you go, three stacks plus 12. Um, and then another stack and 18 of fat. Uh, so that was good, and uh, quite a few bones. So let me get all this put away, and we'll go back, and we'll uh, we'll uh, keep working on our armor. All right, we're back. We're about to make our last iron plate. Ah, shoot! There we go. All right, and we still have, was that, uh, eight, so like 15 more there. But I think that's going to be all we're going to need right now. I've got 13 iron plates there, 14, 15, that'll be 16. So that should be good. So I'm going to start heating these up. And we'll start with this one, since it's already pretty warm we'll use the next one too now as soon as this is done I'm gonna grab this uh, uh, anvil and I got to thinking about that we'll probably probably need to go ahead and make us another iron anvil so I'm gonna add that to the list of things to do between episodes there we go and put that there should be able to go ahead and work this one. So all you're doing now, really, on uh, when you're making your uh, iron chain, is just going to be knocking out uh, using your split. That's all you're going to be doing. So just hold the Alt down, and you're just going to come through and knock these out. So these really aren't that bad to do. Uh, working with the plate, that's the that's the whole key here. If you were doing this as um, from ingots, of course, you'd have to move them all into position to get it down to one layer. So, my recommendation, just go ahead and start with a plate. You'll see these don't take a whole lot of time. There you go. There's our first one. So, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the rest of these. Get them going. And I'll make up all the chain pieces we need. And then when we're done, I'll come back. And we will put together our first uh, piece of chain mail. Okay, see you in a moment. All right. Finishing up the last one here. And again, these don't take, they don't take a whole lot of time. Oh. So... Can we fix that one? Yeah, we can. So we need to go that way. Nope. Can we go this way? Nope. And we go... This way. Yes, we can. Like that, and then down. There we go. That was just me demonstrating how to fix your mistake, right? <laughs> All right, so we have eight. So we're going to make, let's see, don't think we can make the chest piece we needed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven for that so let's make the pants or the helmet make three yeah let's make the pants all right oh 
can go back up there. I'm sure here. Didn't think I'd have to take them all off. There we go. So we'll take the pants. And let's look at that one more time. Yeah. Here. Boom, boom, boom. Chain leg armor. There we go. So that'll be our first piece. And if we look at the stats on this, uh, and we'll compare it to what we're wearing right now. So you see a durability of 800, durability of 900. Uh, you see the flat damage reduction 1.3. Look at this one, flat damage reduction is 0.7. So almost double. Uh, percentage protection 84%. You'll see that's higher, 70. This protection tier 2 on the Gambist leg armor, and this is protection tier 3. Now, healing effectiveness, negative 10%. So it's better than what you get from the Gambist leg armor. And what this means is that when you use a healing item, um, this is you get a negative 17% reduction. This one, you only get a negative 10. Hunger rate is plus 7, meaning when you're wearing the chain leg armor, you're going to go through your your uh, calories a lot faster um, that is plus seven um, you look over here hunger rates plus three so almost double uh, range weapon accuracy negative three so you can't shoot a bow quite as well uh, the amount of time it takes to draw the bow back is increased by six percent and your walk speed is decreased by three percent where over here it's reduced by two percent so what that tells you is that it takes a lot more energy uh, to be able to move around using the chain leg armor. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody, is it? Okay, so there is our first piece. Put all these back on. And we still have two more chain armor. Now, for me to make these other ones, like I said, going to need quite a bit more. So, yeah, I think between episodes, I'm going to work on that a little bit more try to get this whole set complete I won't uh, I won't put it all together till you're back with me um, I'll hold that for uh, for you guys so uh, what I'll do is I'll work on that between episodes the other thing I will have to do between episodes is I want to cook up all that meat and I think what I'd rather do instead of cooking it up I think I may go ahead and try to put in another um, another barrel and I'll go ahead and pickle a lot of that meat. We're going to need some of that anyways pickled up. So I'll work on that. Okay, folks. Hey, appreciate you spending this time with me. This has been Shino. And we'll talk to you next time. Take care.